Hi friends, it's Miss Andrea from the Hickory Corner Branch of the Mercer County Library System and today's virtual book display is all picture books. I'm going to be showing you both fiction and non-fiction. I absolutely love picture books when the new ones come in. I can't wait to just read through them. So I'm so excited to share all of these with you. These are all new to the Mercer County Library System as of the end of September into the middle of October. So I'm going to start with a group of books that have some of my favorite authors that have a new book or maybe some favorite characters that have a new story for you. So I'm going to start here with a book by wrestler John Cena and it's in the Elbow Grease Monster Truck series and this one is called Fast Friends and there's a new motorcycle in town. Her name is Chopper and she really gives those monster trucks a run for their money. So we'll have to find out if the monster trucks can get over their jealousy and become fast friends. The next one is a sequel to the book Motor Mouse by Cynthia Ryland and this one is called Motor Mouse Delivers and it's broken up into three new stories and we'll get to see new adventures with our favorite delivery mouse. The next book is a sequel 35 years in the making. This book is called Emma Jean Comes Back and it's by author David Small and it's a sequel to the book Emma Jean's Antlers. And she's still as unique as ever. Every day she wakes up with something new and strange happening to her. Um, in the first book, she had big antlers and big peacock feathers. Uh, the first thing that happens to her in this book is that she gets a big long giraffe neck and so we'll have to find out how Emma Jean deals with these unique things that happen to her and her family as well. That's a hint for the ending there. Okay, everyone's favorite Pete the Cat has two new books. The first one is called Pete the Cat Falling for Autumn. In the beginning, he's not quite ready to let go of summer, but throughout the book, he finds out all the things that make fall so wonderful. And the other book is called Pete the Cat, Crayons Rock. And in this book, Pete is making art and initially his friends don't really love his art, but he finds out that art is all about what's in your heart and that all of art is awesome. So our next one is Click Clack Good Night. It's by Doreen Cronin. And the, all of the um, animals from Click Clack Moo and those stories are back. And this time Farmer Brown is trying to put them to bed. And Duck just can't fall asleep. He tries doing different things, going to different places on the farm. And you'll have to read to find out where he eventually drifts off. It's pretty funny. All right, our next one is a sequel to the book Fairy Science. And in this one, the fairies are still doing science. This time they're solving the mystery of the missing pond. And in the process, they're learning all about the water cycle, solid, liquid, and gassy. All right, our next one is called The Joyful Book. This is by Todd Parr. And although it does have a bit of a holiday theme to it, it's all about finding joy in life. So we're gonna go back down here to a book called Sunflower Lion by Kevin Henkes. And it starts off with one simple illustration of the sun, and then it turns into a flower, and then into a lion. It's quite um, a unique book in that sense. I really like this one. The next one is a book in the Goodnight Goodnight Construction Site series by Sherry Dusky Rinker. And this one is called Construction Site Mission Demolition. And this time all those construction site vehicles get to do some demolition. So we'll see all the fun they have in that book. The next one is by another favorite author of mine, author and illustrator, David Wisner. And this one is called Robo Baby. So the robot family is getting a new baby and they have to put it together. So we'll see what wacky things happen when they try to put the new baby together. We have another sequel, a follow-up to the book Field Trip to the Moon. This time the kids are going to the ocean deep. So Field Trip to the Ocean Deep by John Hare. And this is a wordless picture book. So there's no words to read. You have to make up your own story just by looking at the gorgeous illustrations that are in this book. And the next two are for my Sesame Street fans. We have We're Different, We're the Same, and We're Wonderful. So it's a celebration of all the things that make us different, but surprisingly the same. This book is called Hooray for Heroes, and it's a nice book that reminds us that heroes are all around us. So not all heroes wear capes like Super Grover. 
And the last one I want to show you in this group is a sequel to Kevin the Unicorn's first book. This one is called Why Can't We Be Bestie Corn? It's by Jessica Von Innerever. And in this book, Kevin gets a new neighbor and he thinks they're gonna be instant bestie corns, but he finds out that they don't like the same things. So you'll have to read it to find out whether or not they actually become bestie corns. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to my next group of books. Okay, I'm back with another round of books. We're gonna start with three alphabet picture books. And this first one, although it says not an alphabet book right there on the title, it really is. It's called The Case of the Missing Cake and it's by Ian McLaughlin. And when you get to C, C for cake, the cake is missing. So Bear has to find out what happened to that cake and it just may surprise you. Our next one is called An Alphabet's Alphabet and this one is by Chris Harris. And although we have 26 unique letters of the alphabet, they all kind of resemble each other like a big family. So you'll see that in this book. And then we have this one down here. It's called Eek! A Noisy Journey from A to Z. And this one is by Julie Larios and Julie Pashkiss. And it goes through all the letters from A to Z and a different sound for each letter. So then we're going to move on to Me and Mama. And it's by Cosby A. Cabrera, and this is just a beautiful book that shows the special bond between a girl and her mama, and it's just so sweet, and it reminded me so much of my own daughter. I just loved this book. Okay, our next one is called Bunheads, and it's by Ballerina Misty Copeland, and this book is perfect for anyone who has ever felt nervous about trying something new, and Misty Copeland was the first black female principal dancer for the American Ballet Theater, and this is a true story of how she got her start as a dancer. Okay, and we're gonna move on to this one here. This one is called 111 Trees, How One Village Celebrates the Birth of Every Girl, and this is based on a true story of Sandor, Wall, and he wanted to plant a tree for every girl born in his village to honor them but also to help the earth. But not everyone liked that idea, so you're going to have to read the story to find out what happened. Okay, we're going to go back down here now, and this one is called Vominos, Let's Go Eat. So come on a culinary journey with little Lobos as he explores the different food trucks in his town. And you'll also learn some Spanish words along the way. Vamos. Our next one is called Our Little Kitchen, and it shows how a small group of neighbors comes together to make a big meal for their community, even using food from their own garden. And then we have this wonderful book. It's called All Because You Matter, and it's by Tammy Charles, and the illustrator is Brian Collier, and his illustrations are just so beautiful. I want to just open up to the first page here. And I just want to read the first line. They say that matter is all things that make up the universe. Energy, stars, space. If that's the case, then you, dear child, matter. And so the author says that she wrote this book for her son to show that he matters in this world. She said, I wrote All Because You Matter to provide parents with a starting point for conversations about the racial climate in our country today. These are issues that should be discussed in all families of all backgrounds if we are to raise empathetic future leaders. I also wrote this book to remind all children, especially those from marginalized backgrounds, that no matter where they come from, they matter. So pick up this beautiful book. Our next one is called I Love Me, and this is an affirming book that teaches kids of all skin colors, body types, and abilities to love everything about themselves. Next, we have Turtle Walk, and this one is by Matt Fellin, and this adorable book features a little turtle family, and they're taking a slow and steady walk all through the seasons, ending in winter, and there's such a fun little surprise at the end, it really made me smile. Then we've got Oliver, the curious owl, and Oliver is tired of hearing the question, who, 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 
He wants to know what, when, why. So him and his friend, they venture away to find the answers to those other questions, but they venture too far away, and we'll have to see what happens when they want to come home. Okay, and our last one is called Once Upon a Unicorn's Horn, and this one is by Beatrice Blue. And did you ever wonder how unicorns got their horn? Well, this story tells us about a little girl named June and a sad little horse that she found that couldn't fly like all of his friends and how one simple act of kindness and an ice cream cone turned into the unicorns that we know today. So you'll have to read this story to find out what she did. Okay, our next group of books is going to be nonfiction picture books. Our last group of books are all nonfiction titles, nonfiction picture books, or you might see them in the catalog as easy nonfiction. So our first one is by authors Stephen Jenkins and Robin Page, and it's called What Do You Do If You Work at the Zoo? So do you ever wonder what zookeepers do? Um, do you think they shine the shells of the tortoises or maybe uh, bottle feed a giraffe? Well, you can go through this fun picture book and find out all the jobs they do. Our next one is called Your Place in the Universe, and it is by author Jason Chin, and it helps kids understand these really complex ideas of size and scale and distance, starting with the size of an average eight-year-old and going all the way out to the size of our whole universe. Our next one is by queen of nonfiction, Gail Gibbons. This is her newest book all about animal migration, so it's a great introduction to the topic of why animals migrate and how they do it. Our next one is a really timely book all about viruses called Be a Virus Warrior, A Kid's Guide to Keeping Safe, and it's by Eloise McGregor, and it just talks about what viruses are and how we can prevent ourselves from getting them. Simple things like washing your hands for 20 seconds. Our next one is called Sometimes People March, and this one's by Tessa Allen. This picture book takes the concepts of protest and resistance, and it breaks it down so even our tiniest little activists can understand. This is a great book to share, to help kids understand maybe things they're hearing on the news or seeing or hearing the grown-ups in their life talking about. This next book is called Jumbo, and it's by Chris Gall, The Making of the Boeing 747. So back in 1968, it was the biggest passenger jet the world had ever seen. So it walks you through how this plane came to being. Lots of great diagrams and things, lots of talk of engineering and technology of the time. This is a really interesting read for anybody who loves planes and technology and engineering. And our last book, is called I'm Trying to Love Rocks, and it's by Bethany Barton. She uses her humor to engage readers to teach them all about rocks. Who knew geology could be so much fun? So I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of our new picture books, both fiction and nonfiction. You can go to the Mercer County Library System catalog. Just go to our homepage, www.mcl.org, and go to our catalog. You can put any of these on hold. As of right now, you can come into the branch to pick up your holds. We're still doing curbside service. Or you can come in on one of our open days, and you can come browse for yourselves. Bye, everyone.